Hello viewers, today we are going to learn what if analysis tool. In our previous video, we have covered data consolidation and subtotal in open office calc. First understand what is the meaning of what if analysis. It is the process of changing the values in cells to see how those changes will affect the outcome of formula on the worksheet. It means that whenever we apply the formula, it is applied on the value. What if we change any value? How the values that we have changed is going to affect the formula and the result. In Calc, we are going to learn about scenarios, goal seek and solver, which are what if analysis tools. Okay, so we will learn them one by one. First, we are going to start with scenarios. It's a tool which help you to build a model wherein changes made in values are reflected in the possible outcome. Now I will tell you this with the example, what this definition means. For example, I have to calculate the rate simple interest when principal amount is 10,000, rate is 5% and time is 3 years. And I also have to calculate simple interest when my principal amount changes, that is for 15,000 and 20,000. So I want to see if I give my 10,000 what is going to be the interest, if I give 15,000 to bank what is going to be the simple interest and similarly for 20,000. So I have different scenes. I have different scenarios. All right. So I can create these scenarios and then I can compare it, which is going to benefit me or which is the suitable one for me. So how we can create these scenarios in Calc? You just simply write over here. So I have got simple interest 15,000 for principal amount 10,000. I want to find out for 15,000, for 20,000. This is simply, simply good. I can find it out. But when the calculation is complicated, when the data is large, then it is going to be difficult. I can simply write 15,000 and I can find out like uh, this 25,000. So this is very, very simple when it, when the calculation is short and simple. But when it, the calculation is complex and data is large, it is going to be difficult. So there we can use these scenarios. How we can use them? Let's see that. First, you have to select the whole range. Once you select this, you will go to tools. All the tools that we are going to use today, the goal seek, solver and scenario. They all are what if tools and that's why they are found in the tools menu. First is scenario. Click on scenarios. This create scenarios dialog box will appear. It will give a name automatically to your scenario. So you can change that. And here, if you want to write any comment, you can write that. Otherwise, it will create, uh, write the comment created by whom and on which date and what time. Then we have display border. It will help you to differentiate between different scenarios. Okay. By default, it will take black color. I'll show you over here. I have created three scenarios here. You can see 10,000, 15 and K, uh, 20. So if I click on this, it will show me that my principal uh, amount is 10,000 and my interest is 1,500. Let's change it to when my principal amount is 15. So when my principal amount is 15,000, my simple interest is 2250. Similarly for 20,000, this is 6,000. So this is, these are different scenarios that I have created. And you can see that the color has been changed every time when I click on each scenario. So this is what I was telling you that we can have the borders to differentiate between the different scenarios. All right, so again, go to tools and uh, go to scenarios. Give it the name P equals to 10 K. I want to display the border. Copy back option. I am disabling it right now and I'll tell you the what is the use of it. Then select the color. Now I want to create the scenario for 15,000. So change the value over here. So when you enter the value, you can see the simple interest is, is calculated. So let's create the scenario again, select the range. So this time I am checking the option copy back. So let's see, uh, let's take this one. And if I change the value over here, let's say 20,000, 
it is showing me the simple address is 3000 but let's get back to this one again and again if i click on 10000 you can see that the value that i have entered 3000 is not here because the copy back option was unchecked let's do it with Fifteen k, where the copy back option was checked. Now, if I changed the value to twenty thousand, it will update this value, and this value will be finalized for fifteen k. Let's see that. You can see it was fifteen thousand, and I have changed it to twenty thousand, and accordingly, it is showing me the change. So, if you want to avoid it, you should always uncheck that copy back option because for 15k it is showing me the amount 20,000. I hope this option is clear to you. So what is the advantage of scenario is different scenarios can be saved with different names and can be compared for decision making and we can easily switch between the saved scenarios right. Just look over here for 10k it is the interest is this for 15k and for 20k similarly you can create number of scenarios after this we are having another what if tool which is goal seek goal seek is also known as back solving and why it is called back solving because here we do not want the output we already know the output but we do not know what is to be given as input like i want 70% uh, in my annual exams so i know that i want 70 percent but i do not know what marks are to be achieved in each subject for that let's understand with the help of an example now over here we have to calculate the simple interest again where the principal amount is 10,000, rate is five percent and the time is three years but now i have to calculate the principal amount this when my simple interest is 3000 okay so i know my simple interest is 3000 i want to earn 3000 as simple interest but i do not know what is the principal amount that has to be deposited so this is what you can solve with the help of goal seek tool similarly i have applied the same formula for finding out the simple interest you can see the formula here and I want to find out what should be my principal amount if my simple interest is 3000. Click on the cell which is having the formula, then go to tools and go seek. It will automatically collect the address. In case it is not there, you just click on this particular text box and click on the cell which is having the formula. Then the target value is 3000. Okay, so enter the value here. And which cell you want to change? variable cell which is going to change what value is going to change that is the principal amount so click on ok and it will tell you that it is the 20,000 which has to be inserted here if you are satisfied click on yes let's understand goal seek with one more example over here I have got the marks for four subjects marks for IT I do not know and when i applied the formula to find the average i have got 32.4 but my target is i want to score 70 percent okay so what should be my marks in it subject for this again you will click on the cell which is having the formula go to tools goal seek it will take the address of the formula cell then the target value is 70 percent i want to score 70 percent variable cell you should enter the zero value over here before you start putting the address in this click on this cell it will take the address and click on ok so it will tell you that the result is 88 if you want to insert click on yes otherwise no so for a scoring 70 percent i have to score 88 in it subject let's understand one more example where the goal seek is used at advanced level this question was there in cbsc 
So we have to find how many marks she should attain in four semester to secure distinction. That is seventy five percent. First, we have to find out the percentage for each semester. These are the four subjects: subject one, subject two, subject three, subject four. I have entered the data over here. So let's uh, calculate the average here. Equals to average. Click, press enter key, and then I'll drag this handle to get the average mark for. Second and third semester. Now I want to achieve overall seventy five percent. Let's insert the value zero because we do not know the percentage. Now we'll apply the formula average. Then select the range and present the key. Right now the percentage is fifty eight percent, but my target is seventy five percent. So click on the formula cell where you want seventy five percent. Go to tools, go seek. Target value is seventy five, and which variable cell you want to change? This one. Okay, click on OK, and it is telling you that in semester four the student has to achieve at least sixty seven percent. So how to find out like what you have to achieve in each subject? Again, put the value zero in each of the cell, and we can find the value for each subject with the help of Go Seek again. How? Again. Let's find out the average equals to average, and then I'll select the range. Okay, I'll drag this formula so that I can find the average for each of the subject. Again, you will select the cell which is which is having the formula. Go to tools, go seek. The target value is seventy five percent, so I'll enter seventy five, and the variable cell cell is this. Click on OK, and this is how it will get forty one. The same we are going to apply to each and every cell and subject to find out the marks. So let's see if I delete this one, sixty seven percent, whether it is sixty five, sixty seven percent or not, equals to average. This one. So when I press enter key, it is showing me it is sixty seven percent only. So you you can use goal seek to find out the marks for each subject and aggregate percentage as well. Next is solver. Solver is more powerful and elaborated form of goal seek. Over here in goal seek, we are changing only one cell, right? As we have seen. We were having only one cell. Variable cell is only one. We we can change the value of only one cell here, but with solver we can have multiple cells. The value of maybe two variables we do not know. The two values we do not know. Over here, uh, my percentage is forty two point eight, and uh, my target is I want to achieve seventy percent. But I do not know the marks of these two subjects. So here I can use solver. While goal seek deals with single input variable, to reach a specific output, the solver deals with equations with multiple unknown variables. So there I have two subjects, multiple variables. Okay, so let's understand practically. As I have entered the marks, I do not know the marks of two subjects, and my target is seventy percent. So what I'll do? I'll click on this cell, then I'll go to tools. See all the option goal seek solver scenario. They all are in tools menu. Go to solver. The solver dialog box will appear. Target cell is the one which is having the formula. Now I want seventy percent, so I'll click on the value and I'll enter the value seventy percent here. Now by changing cell, you want to find out the values for these two subjects. So se select this cell; it will automatically take up the address. Now this one limiting condition. You can put the condition that in uh, like IT, I want to score more than eighty percent. And in social science, it should be at least seventy nine. So you can put the values over here. We have different operators which can help you there. Click on solve, and it will tell you that it has solved it successfully, and it ha has shown you the value that in social science it could be less than or equal to seventy nine. Okay, and uh, in IT it should be around eighty. So accordingly. For your target, it has find out the value, and if you are satisfied, click on keep result or 
click on these two previous so it will give you the previous results like zero zero so i'll click on keep result so i hope this is clear to you and in case you have any doubt you can write in the comment section and tune in for more videos press the bell icon to get the latest video update thank you so much